today I'm gonna try to find the answer to a long asked question. Is it worth it to crack your treasure chests or should you just sell them? So the prices have been very low recently and the V is a lot higher than you can sell it for. So in theory we should make a profit when we crack them. Let's find out. So experiment number one is can we go positive on cracking treasure chests? And experiment two is how many chests do I actually have to crack until I get a redeemable set? So if you don't know, one redeemable set is one card of each from a set, which you can open in the chests. It's worth around 100 ticks, and they are pretty rare. So for all you gambling degenerates, make sure to watch it until the end, because at the end I'm gonna sell all the cards I opened to the bots, and then we know exactly how much of a loss or profit we made. Are you guys ready? Should we start? Open one. Yes. We get nothing. Okay, it's worth a tick. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Ooh, 35 play points. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, 45 play points. Oh, Thought of Negation. That's a hit. Okay, not that much. It used to be really expensive. Now it's like 12 ticks. Okay, that's the biggest one right now. Nothing. Mm, nothing. Okay, 45 play points is pretty good. Forge a new. Okay, it's worth nothing. I was just checking. Uh, no, nothing. Give me something good. I'm doing this so you don't have to. 20 chests in, and all we got is a lousy force of negation. I mean, 35 play points is not bad. Come on, give me something good. Those are awful. Ooh, that's a saga. There we go. It used to be a 60 ticks card. Right now, it's 13. Okay, 13 ticks, so that's worth 6 treasure chests at least. I'll, I'll take it. Open all might break empty trio, definitely. Steam bands. I hope I don't have to open like a thousand. I think I said 1000 is gonna be my max. I don't wanna really open a more than 1000. Godless Shrine. Alright. Chocolate's always welcome. I mean, I don't know why it's necessary to put a card like Cyclone Summoner into the treasure chests. I never heard somebody say, ooh, I really want a Cyclone Summoner. Well, it used to be worth something when it came out. I don't think it's worth anything anymore. It's not looking very promising. Light Steel. Carino. <laughs> we did it! How much did it take? We didn't even crack a hundred. <laughs> the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Foil set! Wow, that, that was fast. The Lost Cavern of Ixalan. Foil. It's a hundred bucks! We did it! No, I kind of want to open more. I was not expecting it to hit it that fast. Okay. Kind of don't want to give up that fast. Let's open more. I can't just open 70 chests and call it a day. <laughs> well, so it only took us 43 chests to get a foil set. Yeah, we, we're gonna go more. But that's a success. I wanted like to open at least 500. Let's see if we can get any more lucky. Or if I should just call it a day. Hex mm, Parasite. I used to play that card. Stomping Ground. Alright, I'll take a Stomping Ground. Good Wayfinder. Mm, if you guys see any, any card that might be worth something, let me know. Ooh, Soul Cold one. That's a hit. Ganta Soul called one. Wait, it's only worth... Oh, it's a regular. 20 bucks. That's nice. Alright, alright. We take those. That's worth 10 chests. No, it's only possible to do one. Open one, open all. There's no speed on this. Ooh, that was a Tasha. Tasha's hideous laughter. Two bucks, maybe. No, you cannot open them from a binder. I tried it before. Oi, grief! We take a grief, borderless, 
Ah, 13. We take those. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. The Royal Scions. It used to be pretty hyped when it came out. Does not see any play whatsoever. Man, good old times when we were excited about three mana planeswalkers getting printed. The Ozolith. Is the Ozolith worth anything? I don't think so. Yeah, nothing. Mm -hmm. Another Hex Parasite. You wanna get multiples, how about a One Wing? A big old spider. Thank god we have big old spiders from 9th edition in the treasure chests. Okay, let's say I'm gonna go down to exactly 4,000. At least. We're now exactly 100 treasure chests in. Ooh, the Great Henge. If I had that in pa if I would have opened that in paper, that would be nice. Don't think it's worth much on Magic Online, though. No. Close to nothing. In paper, it's like a 30 euro card. Mm, nothing. What is that? Yeah, I guess Commander cards. Who needs Commander cards in Magic Online? Ooh, Xander's Lounge. Okay, one buck. Shieldred! Woo! Let's please say Shieldred is worth something. Ah, 14 bucks. Not 70 like in paper. But we also have a Thundering Falls. That's a good pack. How many play points? 1,300. Nissa, big old Nissa. Yeah, it's possible to redeem them for paper. But it's super expensive from European. Like 25 bucks just to get it, then like another 20 shipping or 30 shipping. Then you need to play taxes as well. Wow, 65 play points. I think 65 is the max you can get, right? Ooh, another 65. Sweet. This is taking longer than I thought. <laughs> like, how long do I sit here if I want to open, like, a thousand treasure chest? Sit here, like, for two hours? Ooh, would it for tills? Worth a few bucks. Let's just see if we get lucky enough to get another set. Looted Delta and Lotus Pedal. Alright, I'm gonna look it up. Lotus Pedal... Ooh, that's worth five bucks. And the Polluted Delta. Oh, wow! Eight bucks. That's a good... A good chest. Is that a Thalia? Nice. Nothing. <laughs> Ooh, Lurus and 65 play points again. Don't think Lurus is worth anything anymore because it's banned in every single format. Used to be nice. Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista. Ah, uh, half a buck. Why don't you open in tents? Uh, because it's not possible. How much is Lurus? Lurus of the Twin, then uh, nothing. Okay, we haven't got anything in a while. Let's get something good again. It's been a while since we got something good. I think you guys are mostly waiting for me to misclick and click open all. That would be probably the biggest misclick in my existence. Uro! Can't imagine Uro is worth anything. Oi, Bowmaster! Woohoo! Orkish Bowmaster. Borderless. 23. That's a win. That's a win for sure. I just paid for 10 packs on its own. Habe ich die gekauft oder hast du einfach so viele? Hey, Kai Buddha in the chat. Oh, 85 play points. Hey, Kai. Uh, no. We, I just win them. I, I didn't buy one. <laughs> I'm saving now for like more than two years. I'm saving two years just for this one moment. Do, do, do. Hmm. Is Kai this multi pro to a winning guy? I, I, I think that's I think that's the guy. No, I, I, I'm not opening all. I'm not opening all. I think I'm gonna go maybe down to a bit under 4,000. Ooh, but catacombs. <laughs> yeah. Open more. Do, do. Eidolon. Can't imagine Eidolon is worth anything. We've not seen a One Wing, we have not seen a Ragavan yet. I mean, Ragavan is not worth anything anymore. 
But I think we got already three Thundering Titans and at least two Gilded Lotus. What the fuck? 125 play points. That's a new record. Rana and Linvala. Man, how many did we open now? We're now 170 in. We opened 170 treasure chest. Like. No matter what, after we opened everything, it's I'm probably gonna sell everything that's not the fetch and shock land. And then we can see how much we get from goat bots. Why is there so much bulk in the treasure chests? Like cards nobody ever wants. They could at least like put playable comments in it or something. But who wants a uh, denizen of the deep? Lieutenant, fear of wishes. That, that's cards I know at least. Those are some playable cards. Little Crope, Nova Chaser. Hey, look who's here. Let's see. Vulcan Hex Catcher. I don't think that's worth a lot. Okay, so we're now officially 200 treasure chests in. 65. We also have not seen a one wing. I would like to get the one wing. If I open a one wing, I'm probably not gonna sell it. When was the last time we opened something? Was it like 20 or 30 treasure chests ago? We have not gotten anything recently. Get something that's at least worth 10 bucks. Molten Collapse. Get lost. Very weird call. Man, we, we can't catch a break. Where are the good cards? No good cards to be found. Ooh, a Mox Amber? Uh, 1 buck 40. Okay, not great. Definitely worth more in paper. The set mean a play set. No, uh, this is a set. One of every card in, in one set. I mean, afterwards I'm gonna take all the rares and mythics and probably just sell them and then we see how much exactly we get. I mean, I'm gonna open the foil set and sell it as well. So we're gonna find out. I never bought the trash. Oi! Bowmaster number two. Let's go. No, I never bought a single trash chest. Borderless Oakish Bowmaster number two. 23. I'm gonna go down to 4,000, I think. And then we, we call it a day. Because I actually already got my goal. We already opened the set. Pretty lucky. Blood Crypt. Oi! Solitude Borderless. That used to be a $60 card, and now it's worth 8 bucks. Man, it's crazy the economy on Magic Online. It used to be like 60 bucks, now it's worth 8 bucks. Look, oh, I thought that the Minsk can for a second. Parallel lives. That would be good in paper, right? Sarah Sanctum. That worth anything. Reserved list card. Uh, 150. More vintage cube here. Ooh, what do we crave? That was a banger of a card when I started playing Magic. Hmm, yeah. Arid Mesa, alright, alright. We're taking fetch lands. Also, if you guys see any card that's worth something that I don't know about, let me know, let me know. If there's like some crazy commander card that's good in Legacy and worth a million, let me know. We are now 250 treasure chests in. Man. What is that thing? Okay, 100 more. How 
I'm asking you once again, where are the good cards? <laughs> Hopefully a break even. How many chests did we open so far? We opened like close to 300. We're almost at 300 treasure chests. We got the big hits were like two bowmasters. We got a saga, we got uh, some force of negation. What else did we get? A, a lot of fetchlands, shocklands. We already got a full set, but we keep on, we keep on opening. I'm definitely not opening 4,000 treasure chests. I'm sitting here until like tomorrow. Yeah, this is happening definitely because chests are worthless. Like I said, if we go to the treasure chests, the EV is a lot higher than the buying price. The EV is 2.4 ticks. Okay. At the beginning I was thinking we're making plus CV, but we have not been opening anything good for the last 50 minutes. I don't know where all the good cards are. There has to be some good cards at some point, right? Also, if we wanna continue gambling, look what I have here. At some point, maybe, we have Double Masters 22. I'll have Modern Horizons 2. <laughs> That, that's the next gambling experience, maybe. Exactly. Come on. Daybreak Games, give me something good. I've not seen anything good in the last 100 treasure chests. Powder keg? What the fuck is a powder keg? Never heard of that thing. Powder keg. Oh! We had that thing? Never seen that card before. You know, if you upkeep, you may put a few scans on it, sacrifice it, destroy it, and you don't have one. Okay, why is that good? Why is that card good? We open that? Oh yeah, powder keg. Okay. Nice. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Legacy sideboards. Oh, it destroys lands. Destroy each artifact and creature. Ah, I see. Destroys artifact lands. Nice. I definitely did not play around 1989. <laughs> 1998, I still went to elementary school. Enough out. Enough out worth anything. I don't think so. I think it was worth something, right? Oh, wait, it is worth something. Five bucks? I'll take it. 125 play points. Crazy. It's basically a 10 buck treasure chest. Dirty White Walker, I don't think that's worth much. I own a bunch of Dirty White Walkers. I just wanna know Curiosity. Oh, it's actually worth a few bucks. I opened so many in Modern Horizons 12. <clears throat> Stormbolt Coast is two bucks. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we're coming close to the 4000 range. Black Leaf Cliffs. Man, I can't type because my cat is sitting in front of my keyboard. Black Leaf Cliffs... Okay, nothing. I thought maybe, you know, standard Pioneer. I thought maybe it's worth something, but no. I thought it won the Pro Tour, maybe. Maybe it's worth something now. Man, it's gonna be fun getting all those bulk cards and selling them. So I think when we're at 4,000, we start picking up everything and start selling it. Throne of the Black Rose. What card is that? One of the black rows. Oh, really? Four bucks. Okay. Isn't that a common? Proper common, four bucks. Half as much as a Ragavan these days. Empty true economy is crazy. At some point, Proper is gonna be more expensive than modern or magic online. <laughs> uh -huh. Surveillance? I'll take Surveillance. Um, there's only one way to find out if opening all Quetch is magic online. Let's say if I get a $2,000 donation, I'm gonna click open all. $2,000 donation, I'm clicking open all. And then we know. Overgrown room. Come on, Magic Online, give me... Leyline Binding. Leyline Binding. Oh, hey! 10 bucks? I'll take it. If I open another one, then I don't have to play mismatched anymore. Shit. 
Man, I opened one of those in foil in one of the FNM packs, and I could not believe that's like a 30 or 40 euro card. Yeah, but still worth something in paper. Hey, a Bosechu! That also used to be an expensive card. Nothing used to be... Oh, okay, okay, 13. Not horrible. I think I paid like 30 or 40 for mine, but that's cool. We lose money on Magic Online. That's what we do. That's why you should get like a Mana Traders or a Card Harder. Museo is stupid in paper prices. Ooh, money! 70, 80 bucks. Nyctus. Is Nyctus worth anything? Not a pioneer player here. I wouldn't know. Ooh, unlicensed hearth. That used to be worth something. Okay, still so four bucks. Five bucks. And 125 play points. That's a good one. I think I'll stop when we crack 400. Hey, that was. Was that a Muxus? Okay, two bucks. Mm. Splinter Twin. Anyone? Any Splinter Twin fans? Sandwise. Okay, command. Mm -hmm. Metro Golden is slower and slower. Okay, now we're at 4000 exact seas. Hey! Leyline of the Guild packed. There we go. Yeah, it was like 40 bucks a week ago. God damn it. Already down to 12. Am I trying to get a set redemption? Uh, no. no. That's too expensive. If I would live in America, maybe. But definitely not in Europe. Mm, we already opened the set. Exceeded our goal. Pressure chest 43. We got the, the set. Temporary lockdown? Is it worth something? Hey! Wow. Why is that card 10 bucks? I guess I missed that that card is worth something. I think I bought it for like a, a euro. 7 bucks in paper? Can't remember buying some foils of that card. For Kiroga. Hashtag investor. Hashtag Manguchi Finance. Okay, I think now we have a playset Sundering Titan. We will see later how many Sundering Titans we got. Man, so many play points. Now I can finally cube draft without being sad. Okay. 40 more. God, it's so slow. You only need to load like 4 images. Um, Alish Norn for Mana 1. I don't think that's worth much. Andul. Is that worth something? I don't want to look it up. We're just trying to get more redeemable sets. Can you open a full set in chests? Yeah, that's the whole point of this experience here. I said we're gonna open chests until I hit a set. But we did hit a set, and that very early, very, very early. So just keep on going. That's also the first time I hit a set in a chest. I usually never open something good in chests. So what was the highest EV card we opened? I think it was two Bowmasters, right? Kinda not that amazing. I thought we can at least open like a 50 euro card or something. I mean, we still have 4,000 treasure chests left. If this gets enough views on YouTube, I'm gonna make another one. But we will see. Just wanna get something big in the end, please. I don't wanna, like, end it on something bad. Can we just hit something big in the end, please? Hey, a bauble. I don't think bauble is worth that much anymore. Mishwas bauble. Retro, three bucks. Shin Taxis. 
I mean, that guy looks crazy. Okay, I'm op opening one more. This is the last one. We opened 400. I think that's... Could be plus talents. I think that's enough. For now. So I do think we are up 6... I'm gonna open this. We opened the set. We got one of everything in file. Okay, so we got one of everything. 9,400. With the 6,000 play points, we should be up like 300 ticks. So we did make a profit. We're gonna... Try to take all the cards and sell them. We opened that many cards? Trade. Goat bots. Because you cannot take all, you can only take 400. 173 tickets. I mean, it's taking all the, the cheap cards as well. Soul called 120 bucks is the most expensive one. Then we have a shield with. We have a saga. We have temporary lockdown, leyline binding, snuff out. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna sell. 173. Then let's do it again. How much do we get this time? Oh, we get 256 tickets. Wow. What did it take this time? It took the two Orkish Bowmaster, Powder Keg, Tishana's Tightbinder, uh, Buseju, Grief, Stifle. Oh, Stifle is 12 bucks. Leon of the Guild Pact, Force of Negation, Solitude, Pollute the Delta. Wow, Get Lost is actually 7 bucks? I didn't even realize. Okay, okay. We're gonna take it. Maybe we didn't make a loss. 256. So we opened 400 treasure chests that's worth 800 bucks. We already made a profit with the with all the play points we got. We got 429 tickets and we got 600 tickets worth of play points. So we're up 200 bucks. That's pretty good. Experiment successful. We opened the set and we made profit. Can't complain, can't complain. Okay, thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you wanna see me crack even more chests, just like the video. The more likes this video gets, the more likely I am to do this kind of stuff again. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.